Breaking loss to Northern Arizona put to rest any chances of making the FCS playoffs, but as the Bobcats close their season, an old rival awaits. Not much needs to be said about the Cat Grizz rivalry. I don't think there's going to need to be a whole lot of rah-rah speeches in the locker room on either side before the game on Saturday. For the 117th time, the in-state rivals will compete for bragging rights in the Treasure State. And for the first time since 2013, the Bobcats hold the Divide Trophy. You can tell there's a heightened sense of urgency from the noise that's coming out of Missoula this week than there was a year ago. I don't know that they respected us very much a year ago. And that probably led to the result and the outcome. Um, so I guess maybe if anything else, we've got their attention. At 7-3, and three, a win for Montana would likely mean a berth in the FCS playoffs. MSU put an end to those hopes in 2016 and have the opportunity to play spoiler once again. Though the Cats prepare for Montana, the focus is on themselves. This is about Montana State and our players and, and from an internal standpoint. If we start worrying about them too much, we're going to not be focused on what we need to be focused on. This is the second straight year that a freshman quarterback steps into the spotlight, but Gresh Jensen has had the poise of a senior. He leads a Grizzly offense that has been the staple of the program under Bob Stitt. He's completing his passers at 60%. He's got a number of good targets. I'd actually say that I think they're a little better at receiver this year than they were a year ago. You know, he's doing a nice job taking care of the ball by and large, 19 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Last year, it was MSU freshman Chris Murray helping bring home the hardware. The momentum of that win helped spur a revival in the program. And although this year's record may not turn heads, Montana comes into this game as the latest team preparing for a dogfight. You, you line them up and schedule them, we'll play them anytime, anyplace, anywhere, and you better be ready for a ball game.